want you to think why. And, and make sure that you're just pushing the line all the way. Well, the preparation has been key. Uh, you know, they, like Austin said, they throw five pieces at you you've probably never seen before. So you know you're going to have time. It's going to take time to get it, and that's what Dr. Davis is here for. He knows, he knows what we're expected of, and we know that he's going to make us better. So you just, you just go with what he says and what he wants, he wants, and then you just put it together. And afterwards, you put it in a concert and see how far you come. I think um, going into it, you always set certain expectations, and then um, hopefully you always surpass those expectations, you know, because um, everyone's trying their hardest, and it always sounds amazing, which is truly awesome because um, you only have one day to throw four or five songs into, uh, into a concert, so it's a daunting task, but you always are surprised by what you can get accomplished when you put your mind to it. I've been to other honor bands and most of those ones you get like two days, it's like a weekend thing and you get two days to do it. So this one with only one day, it's always interesting to see what's going to happen. Um, you get a little bit of preparation time on your own, but of course it's always different playing with everybody else, so it's always fun to see how, what, how much we can get done in one day. It's actually really awesome. By the end of the night, your lips are almost shot, but it's, it's just like, you know, if a basketball team's going to districts, they want to win districts, and then if they go on to state, they want to get to state championships. So you know that you're going you're gonna to work hard and practice, and once you get to the performance, you're going you're gonna to go all out, and it's, it's going to be one heck of a performance. So, so often uh, we get caught up in like rivalries and stuff like that. Not so much with ours because it's different classes and stuff. But I always like getting together with other band people because they understand like the time commitment and all the stuff that you do for band and stuff. And it's kind of like um, a certain camaraderie between band people. So it's always fun. It's always interesting to see the different con like different people come from different schools and see how we're all. We're all like at the same level. It's always fun to get together, and because I don't know, people think like, oh, class A, they're so much better. Or class C, they, it's not like that in band. I, I don't know about sports, but in band, it's always fun to see us all come together and be at the same levels and be able to accomplish one big piece together. That's always fun. I see it as kind of a mixed feeling because being in a small school, you're used to your band, but getting out into like an honor band or musical arts day at Concordia and Seward. It's an experience to be a part of a bigger band that you normally don't get on a day-to-day -day basis or performance basis. It's an awesome feeling because all of a sudden you may not be one or one of two in your own part. You have someone else there kind of backing you up who also knows the music and just can help you with something if there's something you're not quite getting. It's, it's a great opportunity. Uh, you know, only a selected few get to come. It's, it's not necessarily an audition group, it's just that you know your instructor at your school has confidence in you that he wants to make you better and put you at the next level and so that's, that's exactly what we're here for and just knowing that the instructors have confidence in us is great and then you get in with, a, with four high schools that have tremendous, tremendous people, uh, it's just great, it's, I mean, it's just a wonderful feeling to have.